The aqua alta is an ordinary and fleeting natural phenomenon which has always been part of the Venetian lives. Let's try to understand what's caused, what's going on, how citizens live with it and what's being done to stop this threat. Welcome to another episode of the Unwritten Venice. The aqua alta occurs for the sum of a number of factors, meteorological and astronomical. The Venetian lagoon is located at the northern end of the Adriatic Sea. When a strong wind blows along the Adriatic basin, with direction coming from south or southeast, such as the Scirocco from Syria, or the Bora from Siberia from the north-northeast, or even worse, when you have the clash of both, large masses of seawater are pushed northward and enter through the three inlets, which create the gap between the lagoon and the sea. The water is also moved northward by the low pressure of the high Adriatic and high pressure over the southern Adriatic, with the level rising by several centimeters. This phenomenon is known as a seiche. To this, you have to add the astronomical high tide caused by the gravity of the Moon, which works like a magnet and adds to the weather conditions. But fortunately, this not always coincide with a meteorological one. The most serious problem is that the city sinks and in 129 years the sea has risen by 12 inches, half of which is the soil lowering and half is a continuous sea rise measured since 1890. The Adriatic rises, but for some years it descends. Climate change has something to do with it, but is not the only cause. The rise of the sea and the sinking of Venice are not a new phenomena. For centuries, it has been normal in Venice to raise floors and pavements as the city subsided. It drops slowly but without pauses. New measurements indicate that the historic center of the city continues to sink slowly, but at a faster rate than assumed, and it is also tilting slightly to the east. In addition, the city rests on quaternary sedimentary deposits. They are made of sands and clays brought over the time by Po, Brenta and Bacchione rivers. There is not only eustachism, that is, the sea level that is rising, but also the lowering soil subsidence that is recognized as an important cause of the increase in high tides. Experts attribute part of the phenomenon to the pumping of water from the aquifer put in place from the 1920s to the 1970s to cool the industrial area of Porto Marghera. It was calculated that this withdrawal was a lowering of about 3 inches. For this reason, it was forbidden and the subsidence due to the action of the men stopped but the subsidence due to natural causes, mainly the sinking of soils in the wetlands, is always in place. Since Marghera stopped extracting large amounts of industrial water from underground, groundwater has swelled with water and the soil has returned to a small extent, and Venice has re-emerged by one inch since the early 1980s. The days of serious floods which today are on average of 4 per year, will become between 20 and 250 by the 22nd century. In the last century, on the whole, Venice has sunk by 10 inches. Given that the old town is only 35 inches above the sea level, the pace of the subsidence would seem like a death of sentence for the city. And to counter the sinking city, some consolidation work has already been completed, especially in the area near San Marco. Normally, micro piles are used, which are inserted up to 23 feet deep when they encounter hard ground. They are then inject raisins or cement. When does the high tide occur in Venice? Especially in autumn and winter, the seasons when you can most often add up the winds and low pressure. 
this does not rule out that they occur in other seasons as well. The high tide begins to invade the Samark Square, one of the lowest areas of the city, already when the height of the tide is greater than 32 inches. If the tide altitude rises up to 41 inches, the area of the Rialto Bridge begins to flood as well. The zero tide level from which to measure the episodes of high tide in Venice was chosen conventionally is located in Punta della Salute. A tide of 55 inches above zero or greater is considered exceptional and leads to flooding about 59% of the city. This happens on average once every three years. Since Venice is not laid out on the same level, some points of the city are flooded more often than others. As a rule, the high tide has a very short duration, and normally the event ends on average in less than an hour and a half, except returning with the next tidal peak, in case the winds and low pressure occur. It is therefore caused by the tide rising and invading the city, not by rain phenomena, as many think. Even when there is high tide, you can reach the main places of the city thanks to the pedestrian paths, partially on walkways, viable up to a tide of 47 inches. On high tide days, in the historic center of Venice and in the islands, sirens sound for the tidal alert. These precede the rise of the tide and allow you to know in advance the expected tide height. For years, work has been underway for the construction of MOSE, Electromechanical Experimental Module, a series of retractable mobile gates placed at the mouths of the lagoon with the aim of blocking the entrance of the water masses coming from the Adriatic. On this great work, there have been controversies and criticism on the one side of society. Along with other measures, the Mose is designed to protect Venice and its lagoon from tides up to 10 feet. The project, which started in 2003, was completed at 85% in 2013, but after a series of delays and scandals that have caused its planned completion in 2018 to be delayed, it will hopefully be operational in a short time. Venice found itself on its knees on November 13, 2019, due to two consecutive days of flooding, and after the Aqua Alta level reached 6.13 feet, the highest since the record of 1966, causing significant damage to iconic buildings such as St. Mark's Basilica. Tip if you're planning a trip to Venice, maybe between October and December. Coming here during the high tide is definitely a unique experience, but to enjoy it to the fullest, you need to be equipped with the rubber boots. In addition to tidal sirens, there are several ways to know if in those days the tide will be sustained. App, the official website or voicemail of the City of Venice, emails or notifications can give you a fairly accurate idea of the situation three days in advance. Public transport works equally, but the routes may change. Also remember that inappropriate behavior, as well as disrespectful to the city and its citizens, can be sanctioned. So thank you for watching. If you love this video, please subscribe and share.